to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Now hear me. I'm going to give you an instruction. Every one of us in this place, you are going to give a sacrifice please if you don't believe what i'm saying and what we're doing that's all right you will not go to hell are we together i would be wicked to you to just round up and say let's go this is not how we god brought victory please hear me a sacrifice is not donation a sacrifice is not about money it is about fulfilling number one a spiritual ordinance this is not offering this is not tight this is you standing in for yourself for your ministry for your business while I was preparing this I told God myself I said Lord I've worked with you to an extent that you please tell me what I'm going to bring as a sacrifice for my own destiny I've gone past the level where I'll try to you are the one that has brought everything please hear me I mean what I'm telling you and I want you to believe what I'm saying I'm speaking to the body of Christ and I'm speaking to our global family. These are ordinances. David had an opportunity. He even gave, I mean, uh, Arauna told him, I said, look, I respect you, take. And David said, no, I will not give God nothing. I will not give God anything that does not cost me nothing. And the Bible says, as soon as he offered the sacrifice, the plague stopped. There are things that have stopped in the life. So I've shared with you my story. How I carried a sacrifice and went down to Canaan land. I was already experiencing results. And God had shown me mercy. But God gave me an instruction and I went there with joy. I cannot tell you the sacrifices I have made for myself and this ministry that has brought us where we are. If you think Abuja just opened like that, please think again not with the wicked spirits that roam around the earth there are mysteries you become indomitable by the mysteries that you engage not just talking nonsense there are businesses that have been grounded at the same level there are ministries that have not crossed certain levels it's not just about membership but come on god must bring people who will be saved every day there are some of you you will never have helpers that arise and run for you you have committed yourself to repentance, the word of the Lord, prayer, sacrifice. I'm going to make a prophetic declaration, but please hear me. I'm saying this because, number one, I love you and I have a responsibility to teach you the truth. Men of God, sadly, across the body of Christ, you will find excesses where people have been manipulated and all of that. But I can tell you this is true. Every time God comes like this once and again, it is because a new season has come for you. As soon as Noah came out, he sacrificed of all the clean beasts. When I read everything, I said, so what was left? When David, every time, you read it in the Bible, the moment they get to very prophetic seasons, there they go. For some of you, God has already been speaking to you. I'm only confirming what he has been telling you. It's not that I told you knew it. Some of you for months, God has been speaking to you. Hallelujah. This ministry you see has come thus far by this altar of sacrifice. It is powerful. It's changed my life. I cannot begin to tell you. The doors that God has opened, when you see the things that God does through my life, you either have to be a demonic devilish person serving satan or you'll be somebody who is serving the lord sincerely but in either case you cannot get this by human strength it is impossible 
I'm going to pray for you. Now, I'm not going to manipulate you. I don't know how you are going to do it. I'm going to ask the media, please project the ministry account number and whether it is for your family, whether it is for you as an individual, whether it is for business, whether it is for your children, I already know what I am doing for this ministry. As God has put in my heart, there is no going back. I thank God for where God has brought me, but I know there are still greater heights and greater frontiers. There are greater mantles that have not yet obtained, and there is no resting with this business. So please, I want you to listen very carefully. Whether you are sowing now, whether you are sowing later, I don't know. Don't, please don't be carried away by emotions. Take away sentiments. If you don't believe what we are doing, you are going to, you will not go to hell. You can just remain and you can listen to other parts and what I've taught. Make sure you act not just because you love me or you believe me, but you are acting by revelation that brings you breakthrough. Are we together now? This is very important. But this is any great man any great ministry any great business any great platform knows that there will always be seasons like this this is to end cycles let me tell you why you are sowing this sacrifice is not just donation no no so just dropping it is not the issue you are going to tie to this sacrifice the seasons and the patterns that the blood of the eternal covenant is bringing to an end for some of you it is untimely death you are saying lord for me and my children we are tired of crying over this it comes to an end for some you are saying i am tired of this epileptic i am up today down tomorrow i am even afraid of my results because i don't know if it can stay as far as the earth remains for those who know how to rear this altar none of these things shall fail hallelujah i'm going to pray for you please don't don't start sowing allow me pray before you do that it's like i said it's not about please all across the globe you can just have the details don't begin to sow until i pray please if you have done so don't feel bad i'm going to pray this is how it is done when cain and abel offered sacrifices one did it carelessly and the other did it with intention and understanding and he rose to heaven i want to pray for you and you will watch the wonder working power there are pastors here what will begin to happen to your ministry will surprise you there are individuals business people all kinds of things this is truth from scripture it will not fail not after repentance and then returning to the word of god with brokenness and then prayer and then sacrifice of yourself your worship your seed and then prophetic declarations oh come on please it is the reason why today i can lie down and go to bed and not care whether somebody is taking my name to a shrine or taking my name somewhere i am asleep but the altar is awake there are some of you the seeds you are sowing today is what will become the ladder to the realms that you are climbing into and please let me put a very quick disclaimer especially for those um, online make sure that you work with the official account numbers no proxies please avoid scammers you'll be um, you'll be surprised that as we're teaching this there are scammers who inside of them to connect for their deliverance and let God help them to get this thing genuinely. They will be waiting in to pray on people. The same energy it takes to cheat is the same energy it takes to listen. You are already online. Listen and obey. Hallelujah. Ah, people pack courses on themselves and their children because of 10 naira, 20 naira, 1 dollar, 20 dollar. You bring a course that is transgenerational. Let's pray. He gave gifts to men. Father, I stand by the privilege of priesthood. First over our global family. And then the body of Christ by the privilege of the election of grace. Please help those under the anointing. 
I have declared your word and Lord I know that this works based on the integrity of your word Lord we have cried in repentance before you individually territorially and even as touching bloodlines and foundations we have committed ourselves to serve only you the one true God father your people and all of us together are about to lay down sacrifices some in cash some in kind in whatever means lord you are not a scammer you are not a fraudster we men of god may have made merchandise out of these principles and we repent for it but lord we cry in the name of jesus and i pray by the privilege of spiritual leadership and priesthood that everyone under the sound of my voice may fire fall upon your sacrifice may fire fall upon your sacrifice may fire fall upon your sacrifice let every demonic spirit witness your sacrifice and witness the fire that falls upon it in the name of jesus christ for everything you are connecting to this sacrifice whether as individuals as a couple as a business in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare may the heavens be opened over that issue in the name of jesus everything that has refused to walk in your life i command it to begin to walk now by reason of your sacrifice i make this prophetic declaration all doors open all doors open all doors open i stand upon the grace of our fathers in this nation as i have received by grace and by the privilege of the mercy of God I stand upon their personal altars with God and we stand in agreement under that grace I decree and declare in the name of Jesus judgment upon every wickedness judgment upon everything connected to ancestry by your sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ hear me anyone here appointed to death i decree and declare when death comes let it meet your sacrifice when limitation comes let it meet your sacrifice when failure comes let it meet your sacrifice it will never be that you gave and went down please hear me i decree and declare for every one child who has gone wayward who is giving any parent headache or tears by reason of your sacrifice may the angel of the lord fish them back to the cross from america to europe to nigeria everyone who is lost every spouse who is not saved every child who is not saved every woman everyone connected to any family that is yet to encounter jesus they will not die till they have found Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now please hear me. If there is anything that you may have done personally with your own life that has created an accusation in the realm of the spirit that the devil might want to use against you and your children's children, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony, and even this sacrifice, let it be blotted out now. Let it be blotted out now. Let it be blotted out now. Finally, I pray for you. You have taken from your resources, you have taken from whatever, to give on to God I decree and declare the storehouses are portioned for you 
that have been blocked by all kinds of demonic hindrances i declare them open like a flood now open like a flood now may strangers arise and come to you you will not beg you will not borrow in the name of jesus christ hear me for some of you by reason of this program tonight you will start having very strange angelic encounters by reason of this meeting tonight there is a restoration of dreams a restoration of visions a restoration of encounters please hear me if there is any physical planting in any house any village whatever was taken whether your name was taken to any shrine or whatever in the name of jesus christ we declare that devil catches fire now whether you are asleep whether you are awake anybody that tries to build any altar to fight you i stand prophetically they will go down instantly and anybody who has vowed that for as long as i am alive this family will not rise this family will not know peace in the name of jesus i declare the righteous judge by the power that raised christ from the dead he will silence such devils in jesus name hallelujah in one minute i'd like you to wave your hands and begin to thank the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb that was slain faithful faithful is the lamb Faithful, faithful is the Lamb. Faithful, faithful is the Lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. Please hear me. From tonight, I want you to carry a mentality. Not just the mentality of your earthly origin. When you hear them say there are powers that are going to fight and destroy people, remember. Don't just remember koinonia. Remember the throne of grace. That it is the altar that defends you when someone looks at you and crosses himself and stamps the ground you don't need to waste your time he's not fighting you he's fighting the throne in the name of jesus christ praise the lord all right so now you can go ahead and give let me make an altar call it's called an altar call listen very carefully there are people here you have heard me preach you have heard the word of god and God right now is asking you, please look up. Let me have your attention. Let's minimize movement. There are people who are saying, Apostle, I came here and I need to be connected to that altar, the throne of grace. The Bible already tells you how to come. It says you should come boldly before the throne of grace that you will obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Two categories in one. There are those who are saying, this is my first time. I want to come to Jesus and permanently close that door there are those who are saying i need restoration in my spiritual life i'm going to count one to five very quickly for the sake of time i want you to boldly come and stand here god bless you for coming already god bless you for coming one koinonia celebrate them as they come worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb keep coming worthy worthy is the lamb that was slain worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb that was slain praise him hallelujah praise him hallelujah praise him hallelujah praise the lord thank you for the courage to come to jesus christ 
I'd like you to please lift your right hand. If you are joining them, please join them very quickly. All the overflows outside and then those who are connecting online. Here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life genuinely. To be connected to that throne of grace. The greatest altar. Lift your right hand please high above your head. Say this loud and clear. Say this after me. Say Lord Jesus. Tonight I have heard your word. I repent of my sins. And I ask you to come into my heart. Be my savior. Be my Lord. And be my king. From tonight, I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of hell, and of the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I stretch my hands towards these our precious people. They have come to that altar, that throne of grace, to obtain grace, to obtain mercy and find grace to help. I decree and declare by the integrity of God's word and according to your confessions, I declare your sins forgiven. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight until forever, you are washed by the blood of the Lamb. Satan has no legal access over your life. You go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please, I'd like you to follow the counselors. They are waving the placard. They will just receive you, have a moment with you, and you'll be back to your seat. Koinonia, let's celebrate them very quickly. Hallelujah. Please let me encourage you. Do me a favor. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapakotosko to break a take and let up. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.